People are using this test all over the place right now, absolutely. It, it, it works and it is cheap, easy, and convenient and, and tells us important information. Um, the problem is that because of these issues around analytical validity, and that's why it hasn't made it past muster for ASCO CAP guidelines, that if you want to use Key67, you need to internally validate your own Key67 assay and, and interpretation showing your own analytical validity uh, for the clinical indication in question. If you're going to try and adopt, uh, for example, a cut point, and I've published on some critical uh, cut points for luminal A-B distinction. Others have, have published on them for um, endocrine therapy index and, and such. Um, it's part of IHC-4 as one multi-IHC, uh, multi-marker method of, of risk stratification. If you're going to try and apply it, you have to carefully benchmark your own IHC interpretation of Key67 against the papers and the methods that were used to derive those if you're going to be making clinical decisions safely. Otherwise, there, there is a, a very real chance that there will be a significant bias, high or low, in, in how you, your institution, your pathologist is assessing Key67 that may result in, in decisions, clinical decisions being made that are um, that are in some cases that, that may be wrong.